This is the more advanced harmonic singing lesson, although it might be entertaining for people who know nothing about harmonics. But I thought I'd go through some of the exercises you might practice in order to extend your skill. Harmonics are, are quite difficult to master, partly because the musicality of the voice is generally involved in language. And we have to change it from that and take it back into its pure musicality. Sound for the sake of sound. So a lot of what you are doing as a harmonic singer is trying to get your brain back into its original form, which was a pre-language form where things were interpreted for their musical content rather than their information content. Anyway, ancients entertain themselves and they communicated. We have to assume that language, the voice, evolved for a certain reason. And now we've exploited that in some way, and now it's time for us to come back to, to find the wisdom of being the original voice again. Anyway, so enough of the spell. So harmonic singing is the exact pronunciation of all the vowels, but there are different kinds of ways of producing those vowels. The, the straight mouth technique, song, 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 sang, sang, sing. Sing, 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 So all of the vowels are there. I'll do it in another key, like just aren't saying, like another one, just a very so 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 song, 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 sing, song, sing, 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 sing. Sing, 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 song, 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 song. So there are ways that the sounds are together. We're not used to dealing with the sounds like that. We're not used to giving them value that is just musical. But all the sounds are there. And like any musical instrument, to actually master it, you have to understand what you are trying to achieve. And this is what you are trying to achieve. Freedom from your conditioning of what a vowel actually is within language. And through that conditioning, you find yourself accessing music in its primary form. Now, this is important for me as a vocalist, but I'm also a, a recorder player and a didgeridoo player and a saxophone player, and, um, and I'm able to master these things more easily and put more interesting things into them because I understand the way that the harmonics work. We are, we are basically creatures designed by our vocal apparatus to produce harmonics. So, so that one there was, um, was a straight mouth technique, just a straight vowel. But you can do the same thing with the vertical tongue technique, where, where the tongue is, is held up into an er position. Er. It's still possible for me to talk to you and use your virtual tongue technique to produce all the vowels in all of the ways that they're supposed to be pronounced. And so we can understand that that is another way of producing vowels, even though the tongue is very, very distorted. There's another way as well where you push your tongue to the side of your mouth. I'll talk to you about the story of your vowels. Like that, there's a way that you can produce all of the sounds you want. You can produce all of the sounds you can want. You can produce all of the sounds you want. You can produce, you can produce, you can produce. You can produce, you can produce, you can produce, you can produce any of the sins that you want if you are able to separate your souls from the long watch component and then do what is possible.